Born to author Justine Wilson and the world's richest man, Elon Musk, Xavier Alexander Musk made headlines across the globe last year after filing a request to change her name to Vivian Jenna Wilson, in accordance with her new gender, following her confirmation that she recognizes herself as a woman. She also expressed disdain for her father and sought a new birth certificate because she no longer wanted to be associated with him. Here's the untold truth of Elon Musk's transgender daughter. In June 2022, it was confirmed that Vivian's request to legally change her name was granted by the Los Angeles County Superior Court in Santa Monica after she turned 18 years old, which is the age of consent in California, according to court documents. In her petition, she said she wanted to drop her famous dad's family name because she wanted nothing to do with him. I no longer live with or wish to be related to my biological father in any way, shape, or form. Vivian, who was a twin called Griffin, officially adopted her mother's maiden name. The multi-billionaire's daughter is one of six children he and his ex-wife had during their tumultuous eight-year marriage. After their daughter's decision to sever ties with her father was made public, Mom Justine wrote an indirect yet heartfelt tweet referring to her daughter's coming out. I had a weird childhood, my 18-year-old said to me. I can't believe I'm as normal-seeming as I am, I said. I'm very proud of you. I'm proud of myself. Through the post, it also seemed Vivian's mom was taking a dig at her ex-husband, whom she referred to as a difficult, controlling, and patriarchal man to live with. No further explanation was given regarding the rift between Vivian and her father, but Elon has always been a vocal advocate of trans people and their rights, though he hasn't shown much enthusiasm for trans people choosing their preferred pronouns. Tweeting in 2020, I absolutely support trans, but all these pronouns are an aesthetic nightmare. Elon himself shed light on his support for the trans community by pointing out that his company Tesla has a 100% rating from the Human Rights Campaign as being one of the best places to work for LGBTQ plus equality. Of course, the SpaceX founder has never been afraid to share his opinion, even if it's unpopular. In April, the billionaire visionary said he wants to see life sentences for parents and doctors who conduct irreversible operations on kids. Any parent or doctor who sterilizes a child before they are a consenting adult should go to prison for life. The 52-year-old old tweeted. His comments came in reaction to a tweet referencing changes made by Florida's medical boards to block access to puberty blockers and cross-sex hormone therapies to minors under the age of 18. Under the encouragement of Florida's Governor Ron DeSantis, the state's Board of Medicine and Board of Osteopathic Medicine both passed rules to also ban surgical procedures for under 18s. Ron has long been critical of the use of medical treatments in trans children, previously saying doctors who operate on children need to get sued. He, along with the Republicans across the nation, are pushing for legislation that would ban transgender medical treatments for minors, including puberty blockers and sex reassignment surgeries. But Elon and Ron sharing the same stance on this issue isn't a mere coincidence. Vivian filed for her name and gender change a month before Elon publicly declared his support for the Republican Party in May last year, having previously voted Democrat. And exactly a year later, Ron announced his presidential bid during a discussion with the Twitter owner, which no doubt gave him an introduction to Elon's massive following, including his 146 million Twitter followers followers. Still, the Tesla CEO apparently sees no link between his statements and his 19-year-old transgender daughter's move to legally sever ties with him. In a conversation with the Financial Times last October, Elon claimed that his daughter's decision to distance herself from him was caused by neo-Marxists at educational institutions. Though he didn't specify what institutions had allegedly worked their influence on his daughter, he added, it's full-on communism and a general sentiment that if you're rich, you're evil. He also insisted that he has very good relationships with all his other children, and shared hopes that his relationship with his daughter may change in the future. But he added, can't win them all. Thank you for watching our video. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. Subscribe to our channel for more great content.